Today I'm going to be showing you how to get Ableton Live 8 up and running with Windows 10. The reason for this tutorial is that Ableton aren't officially offering support for Live 8 with Windows 10 and I understand that a lot of people are asking around the forums because they're having issues getting Ableton to run properly. In particular they're getting stuck on the initial splash screen and if you're like me and you paid for Ableton Live 8 you may not be ready to fork out another 900 bucks to upgrade to Live 9 which is supported. So in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to get it all working. Now you may be asking what has this got to do with gaming? Well, I use Ableton to record my voiceovers for all my game clips and tutorials, which you can check out here on my channel. So stay locked, and I'll tell you what you need to know to get Ableton Live 8 up and running in Windows 10. So yeah, I hope it helps. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ, bringing you reviews, tutorials, and game clips, minus the sh**. You can follow me on Twitter, at Facepalm, with a 1, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to bring your game face. Let's get it done. So if I try and start up Ableton Live here, uh, we'll get the splash screen and then what a lot of people are finding is that it will just hang here on uh, starting the application or creating a new live set. And if we open up Task Manager, Control Alt Delete, go into Task Manager, you can see that Ableton Live 8 32 bit is not responding. So if we exit out of that, um, I can tell you straight off the bat that the reason for this is the way Ableton Live 8 handles audio uh, and its drivers it directly conflicts with the way Windows 10 uh, runs its drivers. So what we need to do is a couple of things. Uh, we need to disable the Windows drivers and then use some uh, audio drivers that will work. Now, <laughs> I was going to say straight off the bat that this is a little bit quirky. Sometimes it works. I'm going to show you a couple of different options to try. Uh, and then at the end, I'll run over a couple of other things. So first thing we want to do is go down to the right hand side here and right click the little speaker icon and go playback devices all right so by default you should have this one here enabled uh, if you've got other drivers like i'm using the elgato hd60 game capture card so my drivers for that will start show up here so if we right click on speakers and disable that all right we'll go into the recording tab we'll disable the microphone if any of these uh go default like if you disable this and then it enables this by default just make sure that they're all uh disabled so we get rid of all this Playback, all these are disabled. Uh, disable that one as well, all right? And we go, okay. So one thing that I noticed is that if from here, we just go down to Ableton and we start it up. Um, once those drivers have been uh, disabled, to say audio is disabled, please choose an audio output device in the audio preferences. If we click OK, boom, we boot into a new live set. All right, and you can see that here. So if I hit Control and uh, bring up the preferences menu, uh, in the audio tab, you can see that audio device, no audio is selected. So while there's no audio device being selected, uh, Ableton will actually boot up. So if we close this down, what we want to do, obviously we need audio drivers. So we're going to go to Google, uh, our friend Google, and we're going to go to ASIO for a double -L, l So these are the ASIO for all drivers. Uh, you don't need to type in Windows 10. Go to the ACO for all website, and then we want to download the latest driver. And you can see here that it's a 32 and 64 bit version that supports all these versions of Windows. Minor update now, Windows 10 is officially supported, even though it has been working all along. All right, so we want to click on here, download this. It's going to download to my desktop right here. Uh, it's a small file, 451 kilobytes, should only take a few seconds. Once we've done that, we can close this down we want to right click on this run as administrator all right so this will start up we just want to go all the default so we click next you want to accept the terms click next again I only want to install the driver I don't need everything else go next uh, default locations good and hit install all right once that's in then we can get rid of the PDF and we can get rid of the installer we don't need those anymore keep it nice and clean empty the recycle bin so if we go in now and start Ableton live up again uh, creating live set, ACO for all, uh, selects as the default drivers, and if we go edit and to the preferences menu, sorry, uh, options and preferences in Ableton Live 8, you can see now that it's selected the default ACO for all uh, version. So a couple of things that this might not work every single time. Um, sometimes you'll start up. So if I restart the computer and come back into Windows and then try and restart Ableton, it, also, it could still possibly give me a bit of grief. So what we want to do in that case is go to this PC. You want to make sure actually first that all your folder options are viewed. So if I hit the Windows key, type in folder options. Uh, 
Explorer options, you want to go up here, check this, you want to go to the view tab and make sure that show hidden files and folders and drives is selected, hit apply and go OK. So when we go into the C drive now, we can go to program data, Ableton, Live 8, program and then this version of Ableton Live 8 here which is the application now for some reason my icon doesn't show up um, it does sometimes and it does in other times we want to right click on that you want to go properties and you want to come over to the compatibility tab so if we click on that we can run this in compatibility mode for Windows 8 and run this program and as administrator you can hit apply and go OK and you can try that so if that doesn't work you can go back into properties go compatibility try Windows Windows 7, hit apply and try that. Now if that doesn't work as well, go back into properties, compatibility, uh, you can disable these, change settings for all users, run in compatibility mode for Windows 8, that one there, that one there, hit OK, apply and OK. So if this still doesn't work, the other option that we've got is the troubleshooter. So if we go right click, go properties, back to the compatibility tab and run compatibility troubleshooter, it'll load up, it'll detect the issues um, and then it'll come up with a couple of suggestions for us. So we can click try recommended settings which will select this option to test run program using uh, recommended compatibility settings so if we click on that it will tell us that it's going to run Ableton Live 8 in Windows compatibility mode for Windows 8 uh, you can click on test the program it'll run the test program and then give you the option to save that if that works uh, if that doesn't work you can go back in you can let it load again once it's loaded up you can then go into troubleshoot program and what problems did you experience? Well, it worked in an earlier version of Windows. So in Windows 7 and 8, Ableton Live 8 works flawlessly. You start it up, install it, away it goes. So you can go next and you can try and run this for Windows 8. If that doesn't work, you try and run it for Windows 7, go next and cancel. All right. So once you've done those things, uh, this is where it gets a little bit uh, quirky so there's a couple of things that you've just got to bear in mind so make sure you don't have any template sets loaded up with the default drivers so if I go to uh, this Windows and then I believe it's in users and then choose your user you go app data uh, roaming Ableton the version of Ableton preferences and it will have a template set in here you just select that template delete it and try that stuff again all right so uh, another thing to mention at this point is once you have got it working with the ACO for all drivers you can actually re-enable the Windows audio drivers and it won't affect it so if I go back in here enable back to the recording tab right click enable that go OK um, that means that when I want to play videos or whatever, uh, that will work. So that it will just use the normal Windows audio drivers for when I'm watching videos. And when I go in here, start up Ableton, um, then it will default to the ASIO for all drivers. So that's actually that's actually quite nice. So once you've got all that set up, uh, another thing I just need to mention quickly is just to be patient. Sometimes it'll work first time, sometimes it won't. You can restart the computer and you'll have that same hang issue. You end the task in Task Manager and and then you restart it Ableton again and it'll work. I guess one of the most important things is that make sure that if you go into program data, Ableton Live 8 program, right click on that, properties, compatibility, that this run program as an administrator is actually ticked. So I've got it, I've got it in here, so it's going to do that by default um, and go OK. If it doesn't work the first time, like I said, Windows actually learns it. It's really strange and I feel weird offering that as a solution. But just keep trying this, like keep running the troubleshooter keep restarting windows restarting ableton live and it eventually it will actually work and once you've got it going um, it will generally stay working so that's pretty much it for me good luck um, all the best and i'll see you soon thanks for watching today's video just remember you can follow me on twitter at face palm with a one not an l as for here on youtube if you like what you find then like comment and subscribe but don't forget to bring your game face face palm out